All right, guys, a little bit different here. A company called Let's Resin that's on Amazon sent me some stuff to try out. Let's see what it does. Sent me some alcohol inks. Uh, this is their 14 color pack right here. And, and as you would guess, it has 14 different colors in it. But uh, we're going to try some of the... Uh, some of these other stuff that we got with this uh, alcohol ink. So the other one I got is right here and it's a pigment dye. They're all pearls and they're right here in these pretty cool things. It's got a safety lid on it and everything. So I think, uh, I think that's pretty cool, you know. This is a coaster set. It has a few different coasters in it. And we are going to try some of those out, make a few different coasters. And then this set has a, oh, that's kind of neat. It has a, a little little beaker, a silicone beaker to mix the stuff in. Uh, we're going to use cups and stuff, so I'm going to put that off the side. Uh, you can make a little box. It has a, a box and a lid. i got these little, I guess these are going to be like little ring dishes right here. So that's kind of neat. Uh, some stirring sticks. What we need to do now is go grab some Total Boat 2-in-1 resin and we'll get started. Alright, we got everything we need here. We got a pair of gloves. We got a, a lighter. You don't know, that's to crack those bubbles, pop in bubbles. Uh, we have a few molds here. We have the alcohol ink. We got the pearl pigment dye. And we got the total boat. And we also got a few of mixing cups because I don't want to use the silicone one just because we're going to do a lot of mixing. And I've got a Leanne. Beautiful, crazy. Hey. We're going to start with just one? You have my well, heart. Well, we're going to start one, yep. All right. There Let's do go. the hearts. All right. So we're going to use the two in one resin as we talked about uh, from Total Boat. Use MPC20 on their website for a 20% discount. We're going to do five squirts of them, each one. We're going to do four instead. I don't think I can uh, get enough in there. We might have to use the larger mixing uh, thing. Let's see. All right, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to work with resin. Although I've never worked with molds before, neither has Leanne. I've worked with resin, Leanne has not, and I've worked with alcohol ink, and Le Leanne has not. So we're going to use this, what is it called, baby? Sapphire Blue. Sapphire Blue from Let's Resin, and we're going to use that for the first color. We're going to do one mold this time. That's all this is going to do. And we may have to put a little bit more in. So when using resin, you're going to want to make sure you put the same amount of drops of that alcohol ink into these four pumps as we're going to in the next four. Now take this and mix that up. We're going to mix this for about two minutes. So I'll come back when we're done or I'll just fast forward it. I'm going to stare at her intensely while she does this. All right, I was just kidding. We don't have to do it for two minutes. It's such a small amount. We're good. Now what we're going to do. <laughs> All right, come on. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take that and we're going to pour it directly into the mold. But keep it on here because you don't want to get it on the table. No. And it will get hot, so I'm going to put it right there and let it sit there. Okay, now we're going to use some of these uh, pearl pigment dyes from Let's Resin. Let's see how they work and how they look. All right, guys, she picked, what is this, apple green? Yeah, it's close to one of the grandbaby's birthstones. Okay, so a big thing about these, these uh, pigment dyes that I notice is they need to be shaken up. All right, we've got three pumps of each one of the total boat in here, and she's going to put a couple of drops of that green in there. All right, now go ahead and mix it up and see if that's enough. See what it looks like. 
All right, so here's the color right there. Not sure if you guys can see that. Let's focus in on it. That's a, that's a pretty uh, pearl green color. So let's go ahead and pour it. All right, Leanne's gonna go a little crazy and make me do some experiment. We're gonna do this, uh, this coaster right here, but we're gonna use some of the white pearlescent uh, Let's Resin pigment and some of the coffee alcohol ink, and we're gonna see if they work together. So I've got my resin over here, she's got hers, and we're gonna mix this stuff up and then we're gonna pour it together and see what happens. All right, so here we are, we got it all mixed up and we're just gonna pour this together. I don't even know if it's enough resin. So she's gonna pour on one side, I'm gonna pour on the other side and we'll just go from there. All right, we're gonna do the box now and the lid, uh, which, uh, what are we gonna use there, Leanne? We are going to use Malachiti. <laughs> Malachiti. <laughs> Malachiti. All right, let's go ahead and put uh, six in yours and then we'll put, uh, two in mine. So she's going to pour it into the box and I'm going to pour it into the lid and then we'll hit it with the torch again. Or maybe I did not do enough for the lid. All right, so with these sticks, show them the stick. These sticks right here, here, let me clean up, clean up. These sticks right here that they gave with that, um, we're gonna swirl this coaster right there. So go ahead, Leanne, do what you want. And you can do anything you want. You can swirl it and twirl it and do everything. So just have some fun with it, make it your own. But always remember, there's two sides to this coaster. So if you do it really lightly on the top, it's only gonna affect the top of it. All right, and there we go. And that's, uh, that, that's swirling to make them all come together. You can like twirl it and swirl it and have a good time with it. Uh, this, this is an absolute blast. All right, here we are. And uh, we are going to open up the box first. So she's gonna get the bottom portion, I'm gonna get the top portion, and then we'll go from there. See how easy this is, or hard it is, I don't know. Oh, man. That was easy, look at that. It's got a, a little bubble mark right there, but nothing huge, and it, it looks good. That's cute. And that little ledge comes up. That's what it does, babe. It makes a little ledge. How's it coming out? Can I do that? Yep. Yeah. Then very easy. That is pretty awesome. Let's see how it comes up. And that lid fits in there really snug. That's kind of neat. What do you think? I love it. That's cute. We are going to do the hearts that we did. I just realized what these hearts are. It's a box. A box that snaps together that is too cool I thought they were like a ring box or something it is a box that snaps together now it right here we did have issue that we didn't get out air bubble on that little tip right there but that'd be kind of neat but that'll be neat for the granddaughters yep I think. yeah we'll have to make a, a blue top uh -huh. And a green bottom. This blue is an amazing color. I don't know if I can do it again. <laughs> I don't know either. I swear I went. 
But that is an amazing color. All right. The next things we're going to do are these coasters. That's the one that Leanne did and I did together. And this is the one that I did after her. They come out really easy. You could do that way. Yeah. Um, this awesome. one has a few bubbles in it, so I did not get the bubbles out good enough down in the bottom. How did that one come out? Mm, well, we went over the edge, so we've got those will come off real easy. So, but I like this, and you can see. Uh, see right through it that's kind of neat all right coffee and cream coffee and cream yeah a little coffee thing. and you know what you could do you could even put some felt in here or even put more put resin in there and fill the whole thing up if you wanted with a different color resin well i think it works just fine yeah awesome so this was our leftovers that was the leftovers all the leftovers we did a little tiny probably a little soda can can go on there that a baby bottle. A baby Before bottle. the grandbabies. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, that is. You can see that too. This is kind of fun. And I think later on, I've got some burl. And I've got this one here. And I'm going to put a piece of burl in here, half of it, and then fill it up with resin the rest of the way. I think it'll look kind of cool. Finally, I've got this, which is the holder for all the resins. And I think this one's going to be harder to get out, to tell you the truth. I tear everything up getting it out. Okay, this one's a little bit harder to get out. So I'll do this off camera and we'll see how it goes from there. All right, I went out in my shop, found a little piece of cherry burl. And uh, we're gonna do a coaster out of it. Cut it down, sanded it up on both sides. And it's gonna go right in here. And we're gonna fill this side with a resin and I haven't figured out what color yet so stand by one all right I have decided to do the alcohol ink purple so it's going to be see-through on this so you can see the uh, the bark line on that so let's do this see it's not very dark but this blue that we did earlier got a lot darker throughout the process too okay i don't know if this is going to darken over time i have put a lot of ink in there i put about 10 more in there and i accidentally squirted some <laughs> across the table there but uh it darkened up on that blue one and i'm hoping it darkens up on this one so we're going to go ahead and pour this We'll see how that looks. All right, here we are the next morning. We're going to take this off because what I'm going to have to do with this is bring it out and sand this top part down real good and get it flat and then sand it, sand it, sand it, get it all smooth. And that'll be a kind of neat thing. And I'll put a coat of lacquer on it or something like that. But I want you to see something. Remember how light that purple was? Look how dark it got. The same thing, the same thing happened with this, this blue. So I'm taking it, this resin gets darker as it sets. Uh, it started getting darker about, I mean, it's about 30 or 40 minutes after I poured this. So that's, that's pretty neat. That's a, that is pretty neat, but it's hard to gauge what color you're putting in there but if it says purple and you put let's say 10 10 drops and four pumps of of resin then you're gonna get this purple right there so one other thing I've learned about these molds you can do these molds with without a pressure pot because I haven't used a pressure pot one but let's see if you could see this there are air bubbles in here even though I use the torch there's air bubbles or some right here all right I went out and sanded this down to 120 you can see it's uh, 
it's gonna look pretty cool so so here's what I learned about uh, using some of these let's resin molds and the uh, the pigment dyes and the alcohol inks they they both go together well J the Jakar alcohol inks you saw in my last video they fizzed up and they had a bad reaction with the resin but this stuff didn't it it did well I mean look at this blue that alcohol ink is is pretty um, I did learn that you should use mold release on this one I cannot get these out uh, it's gonna have to work this for a while but that's my fault I have mold release I should have used it um, the little box molds are perfect uh, I've never done this before, Leanne's never done this before, and it worked perfectly. Uh, the coasters are, are pretty cool. You can do a lot of stuff with them, and I, I think I'm going to experiment a little bit more with this stuff. Uh, but overall, I, I really like this stuff. Um, I'd love to have some more. I think I might go on and uh, purchase some more. And while we're talking about that, uh, go ahead and head over to Let's Resin on uh, Amazon I'll put the links down in my description below and go check them out I I highly recommend them they're fun to do I mean just go check them out all right if this is your first time here please hit that subscribe button go ahead and hit that uh, that bell so it reminds you when videos come out if you can head over to my you are my Facebook and my Instagram. I do a lot of stuff there and post it. And until next time, stay cool.